Hi guys, it's Otto here and today I will show you how to motorize a Roman blind. Um, it's a Roman blind I have in front of me here. And we'll be doing that on the basis of uh, the kits that we have available. We have uh, two Roman blind kits. One is the basic kit, which includes the motor. That you can see here, it's a tilt and lift 25 RTS from Somfy. So remote control and 12 volt powered. Um, in the kit is also, you have these small parts which are the headrail brackets and the adapters um, to fix the motor to the shaft. So these pieces are included in the basic kit. If you have the complete kit, um, you also have a remote control and a battery one with rechargeable batteries. Uh, but as you can choose for different ways of powering it, um, we have two kits. Um, but for the assembly process, um, it doesn't matter which kit you have because the, the basics are still gonna be the same. So um, we'll just use the basic kit in this, uh, this video. Now what else do you need? You need a small key, which is this one. It's a small hex key, which we'll include in the kit as well, to make sure you don't have to go to the hardware store to buy it. And you need a screwdriver. Have one here, have a check that I have it for the right screws. Um, once you have your own uh, Roman blind in front of you, you know which, which screwdriver to use. But those are basically the parts that you need. Um, what I have here in front of me is, is uh, the Roman, Roman blind that we've ordered um, and as you can see there's not enough space on the side for the motor so we're going to have to place it in the middle. Um, so what we need to do is to, uh, to cut the shaft that's in the middle uh, to make space um, for, the, uh, for the motor. Now if you have more space available, so if you have uh, space at the ends, um, that's going to be enough as well um, and it's actually preferable because it's less work. You need to connect the motor only to the shaft on one side and not on two as we're going to do here. So if there's space available on the ends, then uh, that's, uh, that's, the way, uh, that's the easiest way to actually to install the motor. Now to start, we're going to have to take out the shaft um, and we're going to cut that. It doesn't matter which side you open, it can be on the, uh, the rolling mechanism side or on the other side. I'm going to use the other side. I'm going to unscrew the end cap here and loosen the screw. And then have access to the shaft, which I'm going to pull out, as you can see. You can just gently pull it out, everything else, the rolling mechanisms will stay in place. So you don't have to worry about that. And as you can see, this is a star-shaped shaft for which we have adapters in the kit. There are two other um, shafts for, the, for which there are uh, adapters available, um, because Sanfi doesn't make them for all shafts. And that's a four or five millimeter square one. Um, so those are the three shafts that you can use. If you have a different one, like a round one, that you also see sometimes that's very thin, then you can't use this kit or you can't automate it unless you replace the uh, rolling mechanisms and the shaft. We have those available, but it's a lot more work. Um, so there's something to keep in mind. Well, anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, cut the shaft. I'm um, not going to show you that, but when I come back, it will be done. And then we'll continue with the video and the assembly procedure. So I'm back, I've cut the shaft and I've taken a piece out long enough to make sure that the motor actually fits inside the tube. So what we're going to do is now prepare both the shaft and the motor for assembly. First for the shaft, I have to make sure that the, we use the adapter that actually fits the shaft, in this case the star shaped. And I can place this on the end. And I'm going to take one of those rings that I have here. I've already put a little screw inside and I'm going to place that on the shaft as well. And then I'm going to use my hex key to tighten it just enough so it stays in place, but not too tight that it can't move anymore. This will be, this will be placed inside the tube. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So I have the both shafts ready to go inside and what I'm going to do now is prepare the motor. And what I need to do is from the, uh, from the kit that we have I need to find the right brackets and I found these. And what I need to do is position them on the motor so that the wires can actually come out on the top end um, because that's, uh, that's the easiest way to access them later on when the, uh, when the blind is, uh, in, is in place. Now to connect the, the brackets all you need to do just place them here and click them on, like so. As you can see it's now on, I'm going to do the other side as well. 
So, motor's ready, brackets on each side, shafts are ready. Now I need to make some space in the, uh, the blind itself to actually slide the motor in as well as the shafts. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to loosen the screws here for the end cap as well as the rolling mechanism. Pull this one out. Pull this one out and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so the rail is now ready. Um, I'm going to slide in the motor and then the shaft with the rolling mechanisms. So the motor is partially inside. I'm going to push it further through till it's somewhere in the middle so I have enough pay space to put the other parts in. This is about right and I can still adjust it if needed. So now I'm going to put in the shafts. So the next step is to push the shaft all the way through, like so, so I can actually put it inside the head rail, which I'm going to do now. When I push it in, I'm going to make sure that this screw is on top, as well as the screw there, so that it's easier to access. And I'll push it inside all the way to the end until the adapter reaches the motor and is in place. So the next step is I'm going to put the, this ring in the right position. I've aligned the rolling me mechanism so that it lines up with the thread going down through the curtain itself. I'm going to tighten this screw so that when the shaft's turning it can't go out of the motor. I'm going to tighten the rolling mechanism. So it's firmly in place. So I've done one side and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I've done the exact same thing on the other side. The shaft is pushed all the way into the motor so that the adapter actually is inside of the motor. Um, I've placed the ring close to the rolling mechanism and I've tightened that. And I've also tightened the rolling mechanism. And there's one thing to keep in mind is that we actually have to need to keep the strings at the same length to make sure that once the um, blind is installed it actually rolls up evenly and everything's level. If there's a difference in the uh, string length then it might be a little bit um, out of line. So make sure that it's actually uh, the same length of, of string and it will be perfectly level. So the next step then is we're finished here is to put back the end caps and actually install the blind itself. So I'm placing the end cap back on one side I'm going to do the same on the other side with the rolling mechanism. I'm going to place back the rolling mechanism. And what I'm going to make sure is that it doesn't block the working of the motor. So either you leave it outside of the, uh, of the mechanism itself um, or you make sure it, it can't block it. I'm going to tighten it now. And this piece of string can be taken away, so um, you don't need it anymore. And that's it. The blind is now complete. It's motorized. All you need to do is provide power and actually install it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. As, you, as you've seen, uh, we've used our um, Roman blind kits as the basis of it. Um, you've seen how we've assembled it. If you have any questions about the installation, um, about programming, then let me know. You can leave a comment in the video um, or you can send me an email. The email is mentioned in the description of the video. And I hope to see you in the next time. Thanks for watching.